Let's see. We've got ENT, NTE, NET, and we've got T or E or N multiple times. So not really helping us there. Let's see. We're going to dot here, repetition of the capture group here. Oh, we got one or more W's. Kind of know that W has to be there because that forward one doesn't have like a modifier on it. So this has to exist. I feel like this should have been a plus sign because there has to be at least one of this character. Like it's not really zero or more. All right, let's see. Lint. Well, I think we can throw out that W. Uh, where validates, yeah. So W is inside where, so that validates vertically. Let's see. Ooh, nifty. So kicker just said E, W, E, middle, horizontal. Let's see, I do have an E in where and in 10. So that, yeah, that validates. And if I go down here, I have an E in where and an E in lent. And I don't have any other magic letters, so that is E-W-E. Oh, yay, cool. So now we're getting to do, like, uh, ranges. So R through Z is going to be this first character. L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-T-U-V. Okay, so that has to be T. We're repeating, let's see, zero or more E's. Kind of has to be that because there's only one M through R, L M N, yeah, M N O P Q R. N is the only one inside that because the R stops before R S T. Let's see. Now, if we're going back to this vertical, um, we have E N T. And blah, that doesn't help me, but this one does. So we have one in our capture group, or we have slash one repeating that capture group, which means this one has to be an E in order to be an E there. Cool. So let's see. The only one of these that has an E in the middle on our vertical here. So our vertical is ent, nte, or net. And we've got an E as this character. So net is the only one that does that. Oh, these are cool. These are cool. These are regex palindromes. I kind of guessed this based on the name palindromida. 10 o'clock. Net, u, 10. Yeah. Legit. Kicker, it's totally okay to suggest. I think it's it's more fun to guess what the entire puzzle is going to be, but it's fine to like recommend answers and stuff like that. It's cool. All right. Let's see. So this first one has to be GE or PE. Oh, but like if you suggest something, I'm still going to go through the steps of validating it just for the people that are here to like learn regex and like understand like how I'm figuring it out. But you can totally like prompt answers. As long as you don't like tell me the whole puzzle, because then I'll just be like, I don't know. But yeah, like stuff like the vertical is EWE. That's fine. Um, let's see. Okay, so our first one here is GE or PE. We've got Leggy. Leggy? That's an interesting one. We kind of know this has to be G. If this is G, this one has to be E, which we already knew. Let's validate against the horizontal. We've got A, E, or J. Okay. And we're repeating that zero more times. Uh, the middle character has to be Y, and then we can have any character here. So we've got square brackets A, L, and we've got Fledge as our last couple of characters here, which means we know this is L because we don't have Fledge, um, or we don't have an A inside of the word Fledge. Top back up here, so we got leggy, square brackets, E, A, F. Uh, e is the only one that's in both, <laughs> I'm sorry. E is the only one that's in leggy and E, A, F. Okay, let's see. Now we have this Y here that we got from our horizontal. Um, y, E has to be the next one because we've got a capture group with Y, E or A, B in it. Kicker is right. It doesn't have to be Y in the middle. But so far in these puzzles, they really haven't been using the zero or more aspect of it. So technically it could be at the end, but I also know that these are palindromes. 
So, yeah. Kind of has to be. But it, it doesn't have to be according to the regex, but I'm guessing this one will rule that out. Yeah, because our last one doesn't have a Y in it anywhere. So we have parentheses QR or LE, and then we have parentheses G or I or M or P. Let's see. So this is G or I or M or P. G is in pledge and um, G or I or M or P. Let's see, this last one can be any character. Um, this first one is LE or QR. Now this first one is Leggy. Um, so L is in there and Q isn't, so it has to be that. And then this has to be E in order to map against um, LE. All right, so third, gel eye leg. Okay. Next puzzle coming up. Oh, all right. I want to start with this horizontal. This horizontal is trash. And then our vertical is um, TS or RA or QA. So we can kick out um, QA because there's no Q in trash. Um, but it could be TS or RA. So let's look at this next one. We do know it's two characters, which means that the next one's going to be down here. Okay, so B is not in TSRA or QA, so this has to be T. And then, let's see, this has to be S in order to follow that. This is dot star, so that validates against the horizontal. Let's see. And then this one can be either FA or AB because of the parentheses, capture group, FA, pipe, AB. So this has to be an A because we don't have an F in our vertical one. So we'll make that AB. Our vertical one has RA, R is in trash. So rats. Okay. Let's hop over to the next one. Um, AB, because this one is B, this is a capture group with AB or UT or AR. So AB has to be, um, the one because we had a B here, so A B. Anyway, so let's see. This next one can be let's see T H or T U on the horizontal. Uh, there's no H in our vertical, so we know that this has to be a U. Now, if this is a U, the only one that has a U in it on our vertical is the U T. So next, this first one, uh, the first character is either a K or a T, capture group K pipe T. Um, the next character has to be a U. And then we can have in this last one, uh, the next character has to be a U because it's just a plain U in the regex expression. This last one has to be either A or R because the um, regular expression ends in parentheses A pipe R. Now because we have an a, that validates against our other one. But then again, hmm, R could validate too. So I'll just take the one out. I'll come back to that. Let's see. We have B A T U T H. If I'm looking at this vertically, let's see. You have a U, it has to be that character, and this one can be any character, so we don't really have any hints on that one. So let's hop over to our last one. Okay, so A is in trash, and so is S. Um, our vertical one here is AR, or FS, or ST, and it's repeated multiple times. Um, so it, this vertical one here could be AR, or it could be ST. So let's see. Let's see if this one gives us any hints. Ah, this one does give us a hint. So we have our AB, and then the next one is square brackets <laughs> around <laughs> TUP star. Uh, so this last one has to be a T, a U, or a P. So that's T. 
that's probably an S, right? Yeah. This has to be a T because that's the only one in TUP that has like an ending character of these, and then S comes before it. So let's see. This one is going to be a last character. So it's going to be either U, H, or A, and it's going to be the starting character of our vertical regex. Our vertical regex is A, R, F, S, and S, T, or our vertical um, characters are A, F, and S. Out of those, A is the only one that is in um, both of those two character sets, which means this one has to be B because this one comes before A in our horizontal. Now, if you look at our vertical, um, that B is now our dot star because it follows our U and it um, comes right before the A and the R. Now, if I go to this first one, uh, K is not in trash, so this first one has to be T. So rats, a butt, tuba, let's find out what this one is. So it can be A or R, that says it has an A in it. Let's see, this is A, so this has to be R, which means that that is our dot star, which means now this one has to be A. Cool, so we got rats, a butt, tuba, and star. Validate. Also a kicker. Yeah, like after a few minutes, it is easier to read the vertical regex. All right, cool. So, A-P-T-R-O-R, -R, party. All right, so on our horizontal, we have square brackets around party. This is followed um, by a star, which means zero or more. This square brackets following it, um, P-O-N-D, is only applicable to this last character because it isn't followed by like a modifier of any sort. So we know that one has to be um, over here, which means that these three characters are going to be in the word party. So let's see. On our vertical, we have A, P, T, R, and O, R. Um, out of those, we're looking at the first character, so it's um, A and T both match. But if we go down here, this has to be J, A, or O, K, or R, A. And that does not have a E in it, which means that this has to be an R and this has to be a T. Because this starts with an R, this has to be an A. Let's see, we got party. Okay, so this um, vertical one starts with just the character R. So I know that's it. Um, we're going to validate this one against the vertical. So we start with an R and then we've got square brackets A, J, E, Q. A is within that character set, so we're good. Let's keep. So this first one defines a character group, and there can be zero or more of them, and that one's going to be repeated after the J. And this last one is the square brackets RQ, so this one has to be RQ. This is a repetition of the first character group, which means this one has to be J, which matches against our AJEQ. Let's go to this last one. Oh, that's weird. It doesn't happen in any of the other ones. Oh, well, it only happens in the bottom ones. All right, well, now you have some zip codes. All right, so let's see. We got C-A-P-T-R-Y. This is two different ways of saying this can be any of the characters, so it's going to be either cap or try. If I'm looking at cap and try, um, the only one that actually has characters from A-J-E-Q is cap, and it's that A. Let's see. So we're still working on that. This one can be either R or Q, and if we look at our vertical here, it's uh, R, A, N, P, and it's multiples of those, and then T or O. Now, if we're looking at R, Q, the only one that's in any of those characters is R. So we know that has to be R, which means now we know that these three characters are all part of ramp, the square brackets R, A, N, P, and then it's only this one that's using that T, O, and because we know that, we know that this has to be T. Um, we know that this has to be T because it's T or O, and then it's got a plus sign, which means there's one or more of them. So we know that it has to be included as the last character. Um, and that one's also in try. So that's how we kind of figured that one out. Let's see, working our way up. Let's see. So this one has to be in ramp, right? So, we know, based on the horizontal pattern, that this last character can be A, K, or A, right? Because those are the 
last characters of J A O K and R A. And we've got ramp, and we know that these have to be ramp, which means we know that this has to be A because there's no K in ramp, right? Which means that this one has to be either a J or an R. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's look at this vertical one. So this vertical one has square brackets around A through O, so that's going to be all the letters between A and O. Um, we mentioned these dashes briefly in like one of the last um, puzzles, but I want to focus a little bit more on them now. That defines, like I said, a range between A and O. Um, it's going to be all capital letters, which is something that we haven't really looked at in these regexes. Um, but yeah, if you're creating a range and you've only got capitals, you're only going to capture the capital letters in that range. Now we've got two of these. Um, R comes after O, which is why we know that this has to be J because we know we've got two characters, which means these two characters are going to be between A and O. Let's see. A and O. We're still in party. We still have that A. I think. Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Wait. L, M, N, O, P. Yeah, so A is the only word in party that comes before um, O. Okay. Okay, so let's see, T-R-A, let's see, okay, so this last one has to be P, O, or D. Now we know we're still in ramp because of this one, so this one has to be P, because that's the only word that, that's the only letter that's in, um, oh no, wait, it could be A. Okay, this could be A or it could be P, because we have no, 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 wait, sorry. Okay, I'm here. You have square brackets around pod, right? So those are the letters that I'm choosing from. So ramp and pod. We're still in ramp because we don't get out of ramp until here. Um, trap. This is actually kind of ironic because Kicker just made a joke in chat about help, they make me create them. And then we get the word trap so that's, that's interesting. All right, let's hop back down here. We have TR, now we can have AP. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so the vertical on here is AP, TR, or OR, which means that your final character is gonna be either P or R. If I look at this final one, um, we don't get out of cap until after this A, which means that <laughs> This one has to be P because that's in cap, which means I know that this one has to be A. And that matches because this is dot on the vertical. Um, but on the vertical, we also have this slash one, which repeats the capture group, first capture group. So that's an A there too. So we've got trap, Raja, Ajar, and let's see, this could be AR or AJ. But if we're matching, mapping it against try, which is our horizontal one, it's got to be part. Yay! Sweet. Well, this is our last puzzle, I think. It's been so much fun. Okay, let's see. Horizontally, we have EP and ST repeated multiple times. Vertically, you have um, dot star, which is any character, E at some point in these four, and then dot star, which is any character. Okay, so that doesn't really help us figure this one out. Let's keep going. Yay! We haven't seen one of these in a really long time. We haven't seen them in this puzzle. See a square bracket's a little up arrow. That up arrow means not. So this can be any character except for P, which actually does help us figure this out because we know that the final character of EP is P, which means this has to be a T, which means this is an S. Sweet. Um, this one isn't followed by a modifier, but it is followed by an I, which means this one has to be I as well if we're looking at the vertical puzzle. That means this last one is IT or ME. If I look at this horizontal, I've got dot M, dot T, right? Um, dot can be any character, but there are like no modifiers in this thing, which means it's either, which means that this one has to be M, and then this one has to be T. 
Now, because I know this is M, if I keep going down that vertical, um, I have the options IT or ME, parentheses, capture group, pipe, you know the drill. And this has to be E. Sweet. All right. We got dot star. We got a P. We got another dot. Then we got S through X, at least one. So this last one has to be a character between S and X, and it has to be at least one. If I am looking at the vertical one, I've got T, S, P, E, K, E. So this has to be S, which matches with our T that we got from the last one. Yeah, I've got at least one of those. Now, oh. Huh. I think they finally did it. I think they used star to mean stars. I think they mean star to mean zero or more. Because I'm looking at this. Oh, no, wait. No, I'm just wrong. No, wait, maybe I'm not. Hold on. So I've got a plus here, which means one or more. I could have something here. I could have a T there. I could also have a P there. Hmm. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I've got this S through X, right? This one I know is an S, T, S, blah, whatever. This one could match that S through X, in which case this E could be the dot that comes before it, and this P could be, um, could be that P, in which case the dot star that this vertical regex pattern starts with could just be nothing, like empty string, right? And yeah, it looks like you're saying the same thing over in chat. So that could match, or I could just be wrong about what this one is. Wait, this one can't be P because the last one is, okay, so I'm right. This last one can't be P because it's got IT and ME. Yeah, and this can't be P because we've got at least one of this and then we've got a dot and it's not modified, no question marks or anything like that. Yeah, so that's that. And this one matches S through X. Yeah, awesome. If we're looking at S through X, T matches, uh, P doesn't, yeah, yeah. I'm right about that, element OP, and then like the QRS comes afterwards. Yeah. All right, so let's see, IT, and then this one, EM or FE. Well, okay, we don't have an F here, so this has to be an E, this has to be an M, and because of that, this is a P. Whew. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better now that I know that's a P. Because that's a P, this has to be an E because it matches this capture group. Let's see. And then we have T, and then the rest of this is A through Z. That all validates. Let's see, this can be any character, but if I look at this one, it has to be E because I've got dot star, E dot star. Yay, let's see if it validates. Okay, wait, time walker, step, time, emit, pets. Okay. All right, awesome, that validated. And we are done with the palindromeda puzzles. So uh, today I said I was going to do Experienced and Palindromeda, and those are all done, which is awesome. Going to hop over scenes really quick. Thank you so much, everybody, for showing up. Uh, Kicker, thank you for helping me out with figuring out these puzzles and stuff. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, thank you all for listening. Uh, Regex Crossword is available at regexcrossword.com completely free. Um, if you're watching the video recording of this and not the live stream, it'll be linked in the description below. Thank you. Bye. Okay, we've got 30 seconds before YouTube whisks you away somewhere else. So start furiously clicking. There's a like button, subscribe button, bell icon. Um, I've got links and stuff in the description. Uh, what else? There are social links below me. Ooh, if future Rachel did her job right, there's a video over here. Ooh. Um, what else? Oh, most importantly, thank you for watching. Um, I don't know if we'll ever see each other again or if you're going to another of my videos so aloha